A number of you have asked me about a problem from the quiz, so I'm going to do a problem from the book. Problem 59 in section 4.1 is similar to this, so you might want to try that problem before you do your quiz. Um, problem 60, I've got at $2.13 per bushel. The annual supply for corn in the Midwest is 8.9 billion bushels. Annual demand is 6.5 billion bushels. When the price falls to $1.50 per bushel, the annual supply decreases to 8.2 billion bushels and the annual demand increases to 7.4 billion bushels. Assume that the price supply price demand equations are linear. And this came from the U.S. Census Bureau. It being linear, that means we're going to be looking for an equation because that's the A and B part on both, where Y equals MX plus B. But instead of using X and Y, we need to use Q and P in this order. Q replaces your X and P replaces your Y. In this course, my price will always be my Y value. Okay. Now from the information that was given, I found my two coordinate points for both supply and demand. Notice 8.9 billion bushels. 8.9, that's my Q, is uh, supplied when it's going at $2.13 per bushel. But when the price falls to $1.50, supply decreases to 8.2. So I did the same thing for the demand information. Now we've got to go find equations. That's the A and B part on this. But in order to, to do that, we've got to use an old formula, my slope intercept formula, y equals mx plus b, but modified to p equals mq plus b. I'm going to substitute in the p and the q to this equation, but since I've got two points, I'm going to have two equations which will let me find what my slope and my y-intercept is. Now I'm trying to do this um, by color. So here's my supply equations. So 8.9 is my Q, but I never like my number behind my variable, so I just flip-flop those, and my price was 213 with that one. With this one, here's my price. There's my quantity, M plus B. Same thing for demand. But what's nice about this, if you remember, we've looked at substitution method and elimination method. It's to my advantage to get rid of the Bs. So what I did for both of these is multiplied the bottom equation through by negative 1. And I combined like terms by adding. So this came out to be 0.63 equals 0.7m. So the slope for my supply equation is 0.9. Over here, my slope came out to be a negative 0.7. But remember, when you do the elimination method, you've got to take that value, put it back into one of the equations, and I took it back to the very first one to find my y-intercept. So this is my supply equation and this is my demand equation. I, s I use these sub-values so I'll know which one's which. So P sub S is my supply equation and P sub D is my demand equation. The C part comes up. Find the equilibrium price and quantity. Guys, for it to be equilibrium that means they must be equal. So you set the price supply equal to the price demand equation. Thereby, I've got one equation, one unknown, that I can solve for. So my quantity, my equilibrium quantity, came out to be 7.85. Now, you don't have to do this, but I wanted you to see that regardless of what supply or what price equation you put it in, the uh, equilibrium price is the same because it has to be. That's what equilibrium price is. So equili equilibrium stars. Equilibrium price is 1.185. Equilibrium quantity is 7.85 billion bushels. They want us to graph the two equations in the same coordinate system and identify the equilibrium. This is supposed to be point. So the supply curve and the demand curve. Now I've got the new graphing color calculator so that's nice because I can put my equations in in color, which I've already done. Remember the green is my supply and the red is my demand. Now I always put my supply in the first one because in these calculators the Y1 will always graph. But 
In this calculator, I've got to go back to y and x to graphs, but this is p and this is q. So let me ask it to graph. Oh, another thing. I did modify the window so it would match my points. If you look back at the points, if you'll notice, my x value, which is your q value, is between 0 and 10, and I went by scale of 1. My price, my y value, was between 0 and $3, so I went, uh, my scale was a quarter. So let me ask it to graph. I, I want to go back to y equals, notice the color, this is so cool. So the green is my supply. As the price goes up, they are willing to supply more. That's why this one goes up. Remember that slope was positive. The demand, on the other hand, as price goes up, they don't want as much. That's why the, the value goes down, and my slope there was negative. Now, I want to go find this intersection. So if you remember how you did that in your college algebra, second calc, let me go for do number five. So right now it's at five and negative 1.385, so it's over here. And it's also color coordinated saying what, what um, equation it's on. So let me bring it back in. Quicken, come on should be coming into view. It's over here now. Where did it go? Oh well, Pooh Bear. It's still way out here, isn't it? No, I went 0 to 10, but this is down in negatives. Did it go by me? Or was I ever looking to start with? I guess I wasn't looking at it the right way. Oh, poo, this is green. Hello. I got to get all the way up here. All right, come on. Sorry, I went in the wrong direction. But I did catch myself. Whew, brother, someday. Here it comes. Well, in intersection, you get it as close as you can to where they hit, and then you hit enter once, twice, and I don't guess. And I think if you look back at the sheet, you'll find that this was my actually my equilibrium point. Equilibrium quantity, equilibrium price. Okay, hopefully this will help, so try this. Thank you.